Hey guys, it's a uh, Rosara coming at you. I'm just leaving school. I have to do a presentation tomorrow, so I need to finish off my uh, PowerPoints. And I have been thinking long and hard about um, finding Elizabeth Tag. She said, you know, to talk about who inspires you. And I've been thinking long and hard, and I decided that. I'll do it now because I tried doing it before and I got very emotional. Earlier, um, I did a video on VSG Tree John who did Artistic April. And I posted um, people who I think have impacted my life and a song that goes with it. You might want to take a look at that. Um, but. This inspiration I dedicated to a completely different person who is not in the um, WLS community. Nonetheless, this person um, really inspired me. It was several, several, several years ago. Um, it's, it's my aunt. And several years ago, we reconnected. <clears throat> Social media has a way of bringing people together who have lost contact. And that's what social media did with me. My cousin found me and we reconnected and I couldn't wait to see her. So I immediately told my husband, let's get going. And we left very early in the morning and went to New York. In New York, we uh, found out that my aunt was extremely ill and we went to visit her at the hospital in her hospital bed after talking about um how we hadn't seen each other for a while and we're about to say goodbye she says to me she's in the condition that she is in because of what she put in her mouth what she ate her diabetes was out of control and no amount of medication, new or old, experimental, was helping. And uh, she says to me, don't be, don't be me. She said, change, change now before it's too late. And uh, I hugged her and said, not to worry, I will do everything I can to change. Um, and then I would see her again. So for weeks we kept in touch um, through my cousins. And uh, after months of not seeing her, I decided, you know, I should go see her. I am getting this feeling that I really need to go see her. And so I tell my husband, let's go. I got I to gotta see my aunt. I, just, I have to go see her. So we got in the car <laughs> early in the morning and we went. And um, it was good. She was home. She was home and she looked very happy. She looked uh, a bit energetic, but she was bedridden. Um, she was um, sitting up in the bed when we got there. Um, she couldn't get over the fact that I was there. She said that she was praying that I would show up. Uh, so I was, I was like, oh, well, that's great. And... <laughs> You know, we stayed there for quite some time, and then she says to me before I leave, she said, I don't have many days left. Mind you, she was uh, in her mid-60s, um, closer to, to, like, I think close to like 67, something like that. Um, but she looked a bit older than that because that's what illness does to you not only impairs you but robs you of your youth and um, she said to me the same words that she has said in her hospital bed don't be like me I lost my legs because of diabetes I can't breathe without this oxygen machine because of diabetes don't be me. Uh, 
I wish I had known that it was the last time I was going to see her. Because a few weeks later, I had a phone call that she had passed. Her words have always been with me, but I had it in the back burner because I was so busy with work, so busy with the kids, so busy with school. It wasn't until I lost my ability to walk that I realized that um, her words were ringing in my ear so loud. Don't be me. Don't let diabetes take you. I told her that I would do everything I could. So the first time I tried to do the surgery and it failed, I gave, I gave up and became extremely depressed. But my husband one day says, hey, you got to get up. You got to get up. And uh, I went to the doctor and I got the process started. I wish she could see me now, how different I am, how healthy I feel. Because every day her words ring in me. She was the one who inspired me. She's the one who continues to inspire me. And I thank God that I met people from the WLS community. And um, you guys now inspire me all of you. I'm going to see if I can include some clips of what my aunt looked like around my age. Um, I'll be 46 this month. We are in the month of May. Today's May 2nd. I have been celebrating my birthday early. I start as soon as uh, May begins and I end when May ends. Um, and you'll see that many people say she looks just, well, I <laughs> looks just like, just like her. And uh, I guess that's it. Thanks. Bye.